What's going on guys? So I made a video recently about some really interesting SPACs that have not yet announced a target company to merge with. And I'll throw a link down in the description below if you wanna check that out. But I wanted to make another video that goes over some other really interesting upcoming SPACs. So these are gonna be SPACs that have filed their S1 with the SEC and we know they're coming, but they haven't actually IPO'd yet. So you can't invest in them as of today, but you will be able to very soon. And so I definitely think they're worth being aware of and keeping an eye on. As I described in my other video that I mentioned, if you're gonna invest in SPACs, you really wanna to try to get in as early as possible. There's so much hype around these SPACs right now that once they IPO and that hype starts to build, the prices tend to kind of creep up, and that might not be true forever, but it's definitely true for right now. And you really want to try to buy into these as close to that net asset value as you can. So for most of these SPACs, that's going to be the $10 price. That's basically where the floor is on these because that's sort of the liquidation value on these before a merger happens. I go over all this in more detail in the video I linked below, so I don't want to spend too much time going over it again, but if you're newer to SPACs, go and check that one out. But what I wanted to do in this video is give you guys a handful of upcoming SPACs that you can keep an eye on and try to get in as early as possible before most of that hype really builds if you're interested in investing in them at all. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, etc. But just to give you an example of why it can be so beneficial to get in on these as early as possible, if we look at Social Capital 6, right, ticker IPOF, look right when it debuted in early December. It was just above that $10 a share. And then as the hype builds, it starts to climb to that $11, $12 range and it builds some more and within about two months, it's up in that $15 range. And this hasn't announced a target yet. It's just up 50% on pure speculation. There's plenty of others that are similar, maybe not up 50%, but up 20, 30%. And in fairness, the speculation that we're seeing in the SPAC market is really high right now. So I don't think this will last forever, but it's certainly the trend that we're seeing right now. When there isn't the huge hype and speculation, we can see something more like CCIV before reports came out about Lucid Motors. For months, it sat basically right at that $10 level doing nothing before eventually jumping on those reports. So that can happen as well. And of course, there is an opportunity cost if you invest early and it does just sit at that $10 level. That's capital that you could be using to invest elsewhere. But in the case of CCIV, if you held onto that, then I'm sure you're not complaining. But the point really being that you don't know for sure, but the larger that a SPAC is and the more hype there is around the management team and perhaps their prior performances, the more chance there is of these things kind of running up before a target company is even announced. And then after a target is announced, they could jump even more. So the couple upcoming SPACs that I have for you, I think meet that bill. They've raised a ton of money and they have management teams or sponsors that have had a lot of prior success and I think they will get noticed. Before I get to the list, let me just take a quick second to ask that if you do get something out of this, do me a quick favor and hit that like button. And if you wanna keep up on these SPACs, consider subscribing to my channel. So without any more delay, the first SPAC on the list is Soaring Eagle Acquisition Corp with the ticker SRNG. Soaring Eagle is raising $1.5 billion, which puts it among the largest SPACs out there. For comparison, the Pershing Square SPAC raised $4 billion, which was the largest ever, so $1.5 billion is very big. The management team here, though, is what's pretty exciting. It's led by Harry Sloan, Eli Baker, and Jeff Sagansky, which is a team that founded Diamond Equal Acquisition, which merged with DraftKings, and Flying Eagle Acquisition, which merged with Skills. Both have done very well. DraftKings, of course, is the fantasy sports and sports betting company that has been very popular and currently sits right around $60. So a 6x return for those that got in at the original SPAC around $10. Skills, on the other hand, is in the eSports and mobile game space and has jumped from $10 to about $36 right now over the past few months. Harry Sloan is also the former CEO of MGM, so pretty clear here that they're going to be focusing on that gaming or sports or entertainment type space, which is an area that's been very hot over the past year with sports betting and online gaming becoming legal in more and more states. If we look at an ETF like Bets, B-E-T-Z, that sort of tracks sports betting and iGaming companies, you'll see it's done extremely well over the past year. So Soaring Eagle is one that if they can, again, find a target company in that space, I could see it doing really, really well. The second upcoming SPAC I have for you to maybe keep an eye on is one called Austerlitz Acquisition Corp 2 with the ticker ASZ. This one is raising $1 billion, which again is a very large SPAC. And the noteworthy thing about this one is that it's led by the legendary deal maker, Bill Foley. Bill Foley built and is the chairman of Fidelity, and he also owns the Las Vegas Knights NHL team. He's been very active in the SPAC market recently with SPACs like BFT and WPF. 
Finding Targets and Paysafe and Alight. These haven't done quite as well as some of the other SPACs that we've been seeing, particularly WPF. BFT is up 70%, which I mean, in the real world is a fantastic return. Only in this ridiculous SPAC market would we say that that's just all right. Austerlitz says in their S1 filing that they will be targeting a company in the fintech space, which has obviously been one of the hot areas of the market over the past year. The third upcoming SPAC I have is Reinvent Technology Partners Y with the ticker RTPY. This one is raising 850 million, so still quite large. And it's led by Reid Hoffman, who's the co-founder of LinkedIn, and Mark Pincus, who founded Zynga. This is the third SPAC they've done together, so definitely some experience here. The first two SPACs raised 600 million and 200 million, so this one will be a good amount larger. These first two SPACs, do not have a definitive agreement yet, but there are reports that they are in talks with Hippo Insurance and the flying taxi startup Joby Aviation. They'll be targeting a technology company again, so I'm not sure this is one that'll get a ton of hype, but definitely one to keep an eye on. The last upcoming SPAC that I have is Slam Corp with the ticker SLAM. They plan on raising 500 million, so not quite as big as these others, but still good size. But the interesting thing on this one is that they are led by the former baseball player, Alex Rodriguez. So pretty interesting. I know he's been very active in business during and after his baseball career. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how this one goes. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. On one hand, it will probably get a little bit extra attention because of that. But on the other hand, it feels a little bit gimmicky. I don't know. But he does have a team of other prominent business people involved in helping him out and such. So it's not like he's going this alone. They are targeting something in the sports or media or entertainment or health and wellness or consumer technology area. So no real surprise there, but it's a fairly wide net. So that's one I'm definitely interested to see what will happen. So that's the list that I have. I'll be watching to see how close these ones open to that $10 price point. Obviously, the closer they are to $10, the more interested I'll be. Drop a comment and let me know what you think about these or any others that you're keeping an eye on. And best of luck out there, guys.